Today we're talking about five tools in Adobe Premiere Pro that will make your video editing faster. If you've been online at all in the past year, you've probably heard the term AI get thrown around a lot and artificial intelligence is kind of all the rage these days with pretty much anything tech related. That's no exception when it comes to video editing. So today we're looking at five tools in Adobe Premiere Pro largely based off of artificial intelligence that I've been using recently to really improve my editing, both in terms of the speed and the quality. So the first one here is the remix tool. So you can see that I have this one talking head clip where I'm just saying some stuff from my last video. And I have this music clip underneath it that I wanna to listen to. But unfortunately, this music clip isn't quite as long as this talking headpiece. So if I wanna extend this clip without having to go through, listen to the music, find all the cut points and match everything, then I can click R, which gives me my rate stretch tool. But beneath that is the remix tool. And if you grab the remix tool and stretch out your music, it will automatically identify the song and then add different sections in it to make it the length that you want. So now when I play this back, I have my music beneath the entire track and it goes all the way until the very end of the song. And you can see right here, as I say my last words, the music ends, which is perfect and much faster than the alternative of actually listening to the song and making all of your cuts manually. Next up, we have the scene edit detection tool. And this is something that I use a lot when I'm given footage from other editors. So here I have a melt of footage from a football game. It's a bunch of different shots and it's just in one file, not cut up or anything like that. So if I wanna cut this up quickly for myself, I can right click and select scene edit detection. I have the option to apply a cut at each detected cut point, create a bin of sub clips from each detected cut point or create a clip marker at each detected cut point. So I'm going to only select apply a cut at each detected cut point. We'll click analyze. And then once this analyzes, I'm gonna have cuts in every single place where Adobe Premiere Pro has detected a cut in this melt. And then all of my footage is gonna be divided up for me without me having to scrub through the entire thing. And then when Premiere Pro finishes analyzing the clip, I'll be able to scrub through it all and see every single clip in this footage melt all cut up with cut points without me having to scrub through and identify them manually. The third thing I wanna talk about is the Essential Sound Panel. And this is a panel in Premiere Pro where you can select your dialogue, music, sound effects, or ambience and select from a bunch of presets that will edit the audio of your clips to sound different than how they sounded when you recorded them. So this is the clip that we're working with here. And if I want, I can go to dialogue and select from the radio and it'll sound like this. How many days it takes you to edit the projects that are being asked of you. And you can see when I add any sort of effect from the essential sound panel, it populates all of the presets that constitute that effect right here. And then I have the option to edit them or enable or disable them to get my sound different. Or I can just click clear audio type and pick something different. So let's select something that's more normal for my voice. So I'll go presets, dialogue and balanced low tone voice. And then it sounds like this. Third is going to be your post-production cost. And again, like pre-production and like production, you're gonna, as opposed to this. Charge a day rate for how many days it takes you to edit the projects that are being asked of you. So pretty notable difference. And you can even actually clean up noisy dialogue with the literally clean up noisy dialogue preset. Projects that are being asked of you. Third is going to be your post-production cost. And again, like pre-production and like production, you're gonna charge a day rate for Obviously this clip isn't particularly noisy where we would have to apply that effect, but the fact that all these different presets are readily available to you for all these different types of audio that you can record is an absolute game changer and can save you tons of time when you're editing your dialogue in Premiere. Now, maybe you were messing around in the essential sound panel, but you just can't get your audio clean. Well, if you go to podcast.adobe.com backslash enhance, there is a tool that will enhance your speech online and provide you with a slider to adjust how much enhancement you want and then allow you to download your newly enhanced clip. So if I take a sample dialogue here, I can just drag it in and it will take a little bit of time to upload, enhance my speech. And then once this is done, I'm gonna have a slider that I can adjust to play back my newly enhanced audio and then download it. This is a nice tool if essential sound just isn't working for you or you have a really noisy clip and you just want it to be dealt with with very little work. This feature that is available online not actually in Premiere through Adobe Podcast 
can save you tons of time and just do all the heavy lifting for you, which when it first came out was just crazy for me. I've used it in my YouTube videos. I use it for my work, for YouTube, for my the CFL and for podcasts and stuff. There's so many times where a feature like this comes in handy when you're working quickly and have lots to do. So you can see if I play this back. Third is going to be your post-production cost. And again, like pre-production, this is like lots of enhancement. You're going to charge a day rate for and this is less how enhancement. many days it takes you to edit the projects that are being asked of you. So you can see there's a pretty big difference there between your enhanced audio and your not enhanced audio, making this a very powerful tool for anyone who's editing, talking head videos, podcasts, YouTube videos, really anything where you're looking at a camera and speaking into a microphone. Next up, we have the auto transcribe feature. So if you come to your text panel, which is shift eight on your keyboard, you can click create captions from transcript, open your captioning preferences, and this lets you select the maximum length and characters that you want per caption. So we're gonna leave that at 30. Your minimum duration in seconds that every caption should appear on the screen. We can set that down to somewhere around two and how many lines you want in your captions. So we'll select single and then click create captions. And very quickly, Adobe Premiere Pro will create a full transcript of everything on your timeline. You can see here that you have a transcript that you can double click on to make edits to any mistakes. And you have captions that are automatically generated above your video. And if you highlight these, you can actually go into your essential graphics and then start making adjustments to them, like moving them around, changing the font. You can make them all caps. You can change the color, pretty much anything that you wanna do. And you can see as I scrub through here, that I now have captions that are cut with how I'm talking. I can make edits to them right here. I can also go into my transcript and click around in the captions to get to different parts of my timeline. It just works really well and generates really quickly. Captioning videos used to be a huge pain and something that was, in my opinion, one of the weakest points of Premiere. And with this new auto transcribe tool, captioning is an absolute breeze. And I think that this is one of the best features they've implemented in a really long time. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel because I post videography and video editing tips and tutorial videos similar to this one on a regular basis and would love to have you around for that. If there are any new tools that you're using in Premiere to make your editing better, let me know in the comments so we can all become better editors together. And until next time, peace.